Hi, this is Gary Wilson at America's Teachings at Moorpark College. Lions communicate in a variety of ways with their vocal communication. The roar, of course, is the most famous thing about lions, and it can be heard for five miles away. So it lets a lion advertise his territory and it let other lions know he should, they should stay away from that territory. It starts as a low rumble, and it builds to this, this big, full-on, they're standing up, they use a lot of air, they're passing a lot of air through, and then, and then almost uh, as it ends, it kind of uh, reaches a crescendo and then uh, finishes with a series of almost barks. When uh, a couple lions are fighting, they make, uh, again, almost like a, bar a bark, but it's more of a roar, and very loud, much more uh, intimidating than what you might hear from a dog. But they also make friendly communications, friendly sounds, too. A little cub looking for its mom or wanting to uh, interact and play with another cub will make a little chirping sound. Uh, it's, it's amazing to hear this little chirp, chirp, chirp out of uh, an animal that you know is going to grow to be 500 pounds. And uh, that will get the mom to come over and, and uh, lay down so the cub can nurse. And of course when they're nursing, they, they practically purr like a uh, house cat. They're so uh, excited about getting the milk. And then lions will groom each other. They'll lick each other's fur. They have a really rough tongue that's great for not only rasping meat off a of bone, but also for keeping their fur very clean. And when the lion feels that, it's almost like a massage. And they'll moan, showing the, how contented they are.